Today we're going to talk about packing, packing for my Scotland trip. And I'm telling you what I have learned in the last few months of me just throwing clothes in my suitcase is that for this trip, I'm going to pack brutally light. So let's see if we can do it. Welcome to you. My name is Roseanne. If you're new to my channel and let's get started. Okay. So, you know, Scotland is going to have a lot of fluctuating weather and I live in Monterey now. And so I'm used to fluctuating weather. So I need to make sure that I pack light, but enough for a warm day a cool day and a cold day and a rainy day. So let's do this together and we'll see how it comes out and I'll put my stuff on packing cubes and we'll go from there. First thing that I'm gonna do is bring two pairs of jeans. Now these jeans are straight legged and they're super comfortable. They're from Cut and they are very stretchy and very comfortable. So I'm gonna bring these. These are my straight legged jeans and they're very cute, very comfortable. And um, so I'm definitely going to be wearing these a lot. And I'm going to bring two pairs of, of jeans. I'm going to bring my straight leg and I'm going to bring a bell so that they have two different looks. And I'm going to bring a pair of stretchy black pants. And those are the pants I'm going to wear on the airplane. So for variety, I have these um, more bell bottom pants and they're just as comfortable and stretchy and so these are going into my suitcase if I want to get a little more dressy or if it's really hot and I don't want to wear jeans I have this merino wool dress that I've had for a lot of years and it's a really great comfortable dress I'm gonna bring this with a pair of leggings and so I could dress it up or dress it down and I'll have something that's a little bit different if I wanted to throw this on and it's really lightweight so it doesn't take a lot of room. Okay, so this is the wool dress that um, I'm gonna bring. So if it's hot out, I could wear these with my sandals and if it's cold and I wanna wear something different, this can change to this, to this, to this. And to this, what if it gets, you know, rainy and, um, whew, this is hot in the house. So let me take all of these layers off. But anyway, you get the gist. This one outfit can look different, could look dressy, could look casual, and I could wear it with my waterproof tennis shoes and I'm good to go. I'm going to make sure that I bring a scarf. And I'll probably bring two to add color to all the black that I'm going to wear. <laughs> now, merino wool is this, I have a lot of merino wool now. I have merino wool compression socks. I have two of these tank tops and I have about three different long sleeved merino wool shirts. I'm going to bring those because you don't need to wash them. They'll last and you can wear them over and over again. And that's going to be my trick for packing really light. But I am gonna bring some dressy pieces and I will show those to you. This is the blue merino tank, which is so nice and soft. This is a uh, purple, I love purple, purple colored one, which is soft and cozy. And here is a black one. You know, these could be worn over and over again and they're comfortable. And um, this is one of the reasons why with merino wool, you can just wear something for a whole week and not worry about having to wash it. Don't forget that I have a packing list that I created that you guys can download for free and it has everything you could possibly need when you go on vacation. And it'll be a reminder so you don't forget something that could be really important. So here is my packing list and I am going to review this to make sure that I didn't forget anything that I need. So another thing that's really important to remember when you're traveling somewhere where the weather can be fluctuating is I have a really nice down jacket with a hood and I have a raincoat slicker that I could put on top of my jacket and it's really lightweight so I could either wear it as a additional if it happens to be really cold I could wear the down jacket and the rain slicker on top 
or if it's raining and it's not cold, I could wear a sweater. So I will show you the pieces that I've decided to bring. And then at the end of the video, let's see how they all fit into my suitcase. One of the things that I really feel is important is trying on your clothes that you're going to bring on your trip. And the reason why I say this is because, for example, I have three or four different stretchy pants. I have a really cute pair of yoga pants. I have some nicer pants. And I tried all of those on to find out which one would be the best, the most comfortable to bring with me on my trip and for what I wanted to do. So I found a pair of pants that I'm gonna wear on the airplane because they're super comfortable, they're stretchy, they will expand if you need them to, and they look nice. So those are the types of things you wanna look for when you're packing light so that you can mix and match your clothes where you can dress up or you can dress down and you can have a variety of things with a small amount of items. So this is the outfit that I'm going to be wearing on the airplane. These Ponty pants are from Boston Proper. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but they're really lightweight. They're really nice looking and they're not faded. They're nice and dark and they're stretchy. And um, this will be a great plane outfit with a nice wool jacket that I have and a scarf just to make sure that, you know, if it gets cold, I have a shawl to wrap myself around. But anyway, this is a really great outfit. And with these pants and my two jeans, I'm going to be able to switch up my tops super easy and I'll have some dressy ones and then I'll have some casual ones like the one I already showed you of my wool long sleeve and the wool tank top like this. And I'll show you some of my other shirts that I'm bringing. So if I want to look a little more dressy, I have this shirt. I have this shirt, a lightweight, cute, a little bit more dressy for a dinner. One of my favorite shirts, I'm definitely bringing this one. And if I need a pop of color, I'm going to bring this, which can go with either this cream colored sweater or this black sweater, which has been with me for many, many years, and it works so great. So with all of those tops, I could interchange them with my pants, with my jeans, and I could have a new outfit every day. So we're going to talk about shoes. So I have my Atrex shoes here that I bought. Like you can see, I've been wearing them. They're fabulously comfortable. I bought these after my Greece and Egypt trip because the shoes that I had that were a little nice, nicer clicked and they weren't so comfortable actually walking on the cobblestones. So these are going to be my go-to shoes. I have these Gore-Tex um, hiker tennies that I'm going to wear in case it rains because in Scotland you don't know there could be puddles and I don't want anything to stop me from my adventure so I'm going to be wearing these shoes especially if it rains or if we're going to go to the marsh or anything like that these are very comfortable and I can't forget if it's going to be warm and I want to wear something a little bit lighter because I have a tendency to be on the hotter side, um, I have my sandals that I'm going to bring. And then just to have an extra flip flop, because you never know if I need these for, you know, anything, I'm gonna bring these flip flops. Now let's see how that all pans out together. All right, so I have everything packed in cubes. Let's see, I'm not going to pack it in a carry-on. I'm going to keep it in my medium, 
size bag a little bit bigger because I'm going to check my bag and I always do and I want a little extra room if I want to buy souvenirs. So I'm going to pack as if it were a carry-on but it's not going to be. So let's see how it fits in my suitcase. Okay so I have my this is my toiletry bag which I have not organized quite yet but this these are my bags with my clothes. I actually have my undies and everything in here that I could pop in here and there's plenty of room. Next, I will be putting together my toiletry bag, my shoes in here, and um, my jackets. So these jackets roll up really nice and small and they'll fit in here quite nicely. And uh, yeah, gotta make sure you have your jackets. I'm gonna try to not bring on a weekender bag, so I'll have a backpack. But I wanna make sure that I have enough. Nico. Anyway, here are my Nico. He's hearing a dog barking. Here are my clothes for the trip. And that will be on one side of the suitcase. And on the other, I'll have my shoes and my toiletries. And I will share all of those things with you in another video. So there you have it. Thank you for packing with me. We packed my clothes. I'm all ready to go. I'm going to be going very, very soon to Scotland, but I will also do a video on my toiletries and my carry-on bag. What am I going to bring on the airplane that I can have a nice, comfortable, safe flight? So I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget the link below. I have um, a link where you can get your free packing list and your to-do list, which is super helpful when you're uh, traveling. And anyway, have a great day and ciao for now. Bye. Mm -hmm.